Yeah, it was a strong group of sprinters this year in, in the peloton, so it's definitely not going to be easy, especially the first stage of the tour, I think. Um, history showed that it normally takes me a few days to get into a Grand Tour. Not the Giro this year, but, but before that, it normally takes me a few days, but uh, you know, I've altered my train to be able to to go well in the fifth stage here and uh, that's a big, big goal. The team's motivated, the team's built around stage wins and uh, so we'll go for it. But uh, yeah, I think to show the, the Tour de France the respect it deserves, nothing's a given to, to be able to win easily, you know. It's the highlight of the majority of riders' seasons, the majority of riders' careers and uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll try our best and see what happens. And um, I spoke to, to Gert and the guy who did it, Antonio. Tony, um, We've also got some videos of the finish, so we have seen it. We've got a fair bit, enough to, well, and really enough um, to be able to go off. It's really good, um, it's been my most successful season so far up to this point in my career. Um, so I, we're super happy, we won the red jersey at Giro d'Italia, five stages at Giro d'Italia, and uh, another overall with the Tour of Qatar in the year. Um, I'm super happy, and um, it's a great group of guys. A lot of my old friends, a lot of my old teammates, and uh, and yeah, I really, really am in a happy place now, and uh, and yeah, and I'm a successful year. So I'm always proud to represent my country, and uh, you know, normally that's sort of you know, most of the time that's just been worked by wearing the national <coughs> national jersey for for the world championships and the likes. Uh, but to be able to, to wear a jersey for a year. To represent the country and the champion of, of my country, you know that's that's a massive honour for me, and uh, and yeah, hopefully I'll do it proud and uh, and show that the Great Britain's a, a dominant force in cycling now.